Now imagine getting lost in the wilderness, being stuck in a falling elevator, trying to get out of a fire. Boy, it's just not your day, huh? Would you figure out how to save your life? Here's a quick test to check your survival skills. You'll see how well you've done at the end of the video. Remember to keep track of how many questions you get right. Number 1. What would you do if a building you were in collapsed and you ended up under piles of debris and rubble? A. Light a fire. B. Calm down and cover your whole head with a piece of cloth. C. Move fast trying to get out from under the rubble. You have only 5 seconds to choose the right answer. If you've picked B, you're absolutely right. Being trapped, don't panic. Take off your shirt and tie it around your whole head. It'll prevent you from choking on dust. 2. If you're outside with no shelter in sight and you see a rapidly approaching tornado, do you A. Climb a hill or some other elevation? B. Run away lightning fast? C. Lie down in a ditch and make yourself as flat as you can? The only correct answer is C. If a tornado is moving towards you and you realize you don't have time or a place to escape to, find a ditch or some low place, lie down, and cover your head with your hands or clothes. 3. What would you do if you were indoors when an earthquake started? Hey, been there, done that. But that's for another video sometime. Would you A. Rush outside and move away from the buildings? B. Hide under a sturdy piece of furniture. C. Run up to the window to see what's happening. The only way to save your life is to hide in a safe spot, which is answer B. Stay away from glass or anything that might fall on you. 4. If you fell through the ice into the water on a freezing winter day, you would A. Take off your clothes. B. Try to break the ice and get out to the shore. C. Get out of the water from where you fell in and roll across the ice toward the shore. The correct answer is C. Grab onto the edge of the ice and use your elbows and forearms to lift yourself up. Then kick your legs to propel yourself onto the ice and roll towards the shore like seals do. 5. If you went for a jog and came across a pack of aggressive-looking dogs, you would A. Run away as fast as you can B. Stare the dogs down or yell to scare them off C. Throw your backpack or a piece of clothing to distract the dogs and slowly back away The only way you can get out of such an encounter unscathed is to distract the dogs and quietly move away. Answer C. If one of the dogs still lunges at you, do your best to place some object between you and the animal's jaws. 6. If you accidentally disturbed a swarm of bees and they were coming after you, you would A. Run away as fast as you can. B. Dive into a pool, lake, or a river. C. Pull out some bug spray and use it on the bees. Despite a common misconception, jumping into water won't do you any good. The bees will just wait until you resurface to breathe. The correct answer is A. Run in a straight line as fast as possible until the bees stop chasing you. An even better alternative is to find a shelter, your car, a house, or even a public bathroom, and hide inside. 7. What would you do if you saw a shark swimming straight towards you? Now, I'm assuming you're actually in the water for this one. Would you A. Turn away and swim as quickly as possible? B. Saddle the animal up and tame it? C. Hit it in the face and gills? Well, the chances you'll manage to domesticate a shark are almost non-existent. Swimming away in panic, you'll look even more like lunch. That's why the correct answer is C. If a shark gets you, aim at its eyes, nose, and gills. These are the only vulnerable areas on the animal's body. 8. 
If an elevator you were in suddenly started to fall, you would A. Jump in the air a split second before the cabin hits the ground. B. Lie down on your back on the elevator floor. C. Press your body to the elevator wall. The correct answer is B. Lying down on the cabin floor will increase your chances of surviving because the impact force will spread equally across your body. Hey, trust me. 9. What would you do if the area where you live was getting flooded? A. Get into your car and try to drive away. B. Move to higher ground away from water. C. Hide in a safe place inside your house after gathering all valuables and documents. If you've opted for answer B, you're right. If you're outside, get away from streams, storm drains, or rivers, and try to find some elevated ground. If you get stuck at home, get to the roof if it's safe enough. 10. If your plane crash-landed in the middle of a forest, and you were the sole survivor, what would you do? A. Try to get a phone signal to call for help. B. Search the debris for anything that could help you survive. C. Rush away from the area as fast and as far as you can. The only way you can survive in this situation is to follow option C. Keep in mind that crashed airplanes catch fire and burn to ashes extremely fast. Plus, if the flames get to the fuel tanks, the aircraft will blow up in no time. 11. What would you do if you unexpectedly encountered a snake? Would you A. Move toward the snake and try to shoo it away. B. Poke it with a stick. C. Shout at it and stomp your feet. If you opted for A or B, the snake might think you're being aggressive and decide to make the first move. The correct answer is C. Even though these reptiles don't have ears, they're sensitive to vibrations. That's why raising your voice, banging two sticks together, or stomping your feet can make a snake retreat. But if there's an opportunity to walk away, use it. 12. If you got caught in an indoor fire, what would you do? A. Break a window to get some fresh air. B. Fall to the ground and roll back and forth if your clothes have caught fire. C. Use a fire extinguisher and spray the top and middle of the flames. The correct answer is B. By breaking a window, you'll let in more oxygen, which will only feed the flames. And if you do have a fire extinguisher, aim it at the base of the fire. It's much more effective. 13. If a bull was charging at you, you would A. Run toward the enraged animal. B. Stand still until the bull is near and then throw a piece of clothing in another direction. C. Lie down on your back and hope the bull will spare your life. If you've chosen B, you're absolutely right. Bulls react to movements. That's why throwing a hat or a shirt away from you will distract the animal, and it'll chase the moving object. 14. If you came across a bear in the wilderness, would you A. Run away? B. Try to scare the bear away by shouting and looking scary. C. Fall to the ground and lie there motionless. Well, it's a question with a catch. Your behavior depends on what type of bear you've come across. If it's a bigger and more aggressive brown bear, the course of action is to fall down and play possum meaning it's answer C. But if it's a smaller black bear, which rarely charges at people, shouting and making yourself look bigger may get you out of trouble. In this case, the correct answer is B. And now, let's see how well you've passed this test. If you have 0 to 5 correct answers, you should probably upgrade your survival skills. Otherwise, the next time you meet a wild bear or an angry bull, you might not come out a winner. If you knew the answers to 6 to 10 questions, chances are you'll get out of most extreme situations intact.
still, you're not quite ready to start your own survival TV show or anything, try brushing up on some more survival guides and tips. And if you manage to get 11 to 14 questions correct, you're a true survival expert. It's not the time to bask in the glory, though. Keep practicing. There's no limit to perfection, especially when the stakes are that high. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life.